welcome to the Dangerous Devious Podcast. Today is a beautiful Monday, and if you guys are not listening on a Monday, then I hope it's a beautiful day for you. Um, yeah, today we're going to talk about not being mon- motivated. So if you're like me, this last week was actually super, super weird for me, um, and I know it was for a couple of my clients as well, just not motivated at all lately, like to get your workouts done or anything like that. So let's talk about motivation for a second. And I, I want to say something that you might not like, but motivation is not a thing. There's no such thing as motivation. There is either consistency and action, which we'll, we'll get into it later on. But I want to ask you this. Have you been unmotivated lately to get your workouts done? You just don't feel like doing it. No matter how much you try, like you put on your workout clothes, you have your water ready. Like literally you make plans to go to the gym all these things you made plans to do your workouts like right after you drop off the kids from school so on and so forth right and then no matter how much you try you just don't want to do it like you don't care to do it and the problem is that we feel motivated so we just end up doing absolutely nothing about it and we procrastinate procrastinate hope i'm saying that right until the next day then it turns into days it turns into weeks it turns into months And then you look back and it's been two years since you haven't worked out. It's been two years since you haven't worked out, but it feels like yesterday. But that was when you made the decision that being unmotivated and not wanting to do your workout led to two years, two years. And I'll be honest, for the last week or so, like I said, I've been super unmotivated. But that doesn't mean I skipped a workout. That doesn't mean I didn't eat healthy. It was actually the complete opposite. So, I, since I'm the best coach in the entire universe, I've come up with a couple ways for you to motivate yourself for your workouts. Are you guys ready? Take some notes. You guys better be ready. Better take some notes right now. Number one, you need to determine your why. I have talked about this in so many episodes, so many live videos, so many content that I've created. You need to determine your why. Ask yourself, why do you want to start working out in the first place? What is it that gets you moving? Is it your kids? Is it to live longer? Is it to not get sick? What is your why? Once you've determined that why, a lot of things are going to change in your life. A lot of things are going to make sense, all right? But without a reason why, I'm sorry, but you, you just need it in order for you to stay extra motivated, in order for you to get to your goals. But if you don't have a reason why, you're not always going to get to your goals because your why is not enough to get there, okay? Number two, you need to find meaning. Besides from losing weight, besides from dropping your pant sizes, besides from wanting to fit in your bikini, why do you want to work out? It has to be deep inside your heart. It has to be super deep. For me, I don't want to have any health issues. I don't want to have any heart issues. My family is hereditary for heart issues and health and heart conditions. I don't want any of that. So I work out and, and, and eat healthy so that I can prevent it as much as I can. Obviously, I can't prevent it forever, but I can prevent it as much as I can. And that is why I am doing my things. That is my meaning to my reason why I am doing the things that I want to be doing. Number three, you need to switch into a positive mode. If you're feeling unmotivated, you're probably down right now. You're probably not wanting to do anything. You'd rather sit on the couch, you'd rather eat popcorn, you'd rather watch TV, whatever it may be. You need to switch your mind into a positive mode. Identify the obstacles that you are currently um, coming up to and then come up with a good and concrete strategy to overcome them. You need a plan to overcome anything. You need a plan to get to any of your goals. You need a plan to do whatever you wanna do in your life. So it's the same thing. Come up with a concrete strategy to overcome the obstacles that are placed in front of you so that you can go and switch your mind into a positive mode so that you can get closer to your goals. Number four, you need to appreciate your body. Your body is amazing. You look great. But don't limit those things to the stuff that you can't see. Like working out on your abs, but you can't still, you can't see them. So what? 
You still work on them. They're still on the inside. It's still the muscle that needs to be worked on. It's not because you do abs that you're going to get abs. Abs are made in the kitchen. But it's not because you don't see your abs that you're going to stop working out abs. Right? You need to appreciate your body. You need to love your body a little bit more. I know that as women, we are super hard on ourselves in the way that we look. But we need to appreciate what we have. Because this is the only body that we're going to live in in our entire lifetime. So we need to make sure that we appreciate it in the ups and downs. And downs especially because there's going to be a lot more downs than there is going to be up. So appreciate your body. Appreciate your arms, your nose, your hair, your eyes, whatever it is. Appreciate those abs that you don't see. They're great. Okay? And number five, you need to quit with the negative self-talk. You need to quit the negative self-talk. We as women are harder on ourselves than we are on anyone else. So stop being so hard and make changes when needed. If you eat a donut and then regret it, acknowledge what you did and change the habit right away. There is no point of eating a donut, regretting it, and then contemplating, is that even the word? Contemplating on, oh, I should have done that, oh, blah, 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 blah. Like, who cares? You ate your donut, you enjoyed it, it was freaking amazing. Acknowledge what you de did and change that habit right away. Change that habit into a positive reinforcement. Change that habit so that you stop being so mean to yourself. You stop it with the negative self-talk. The worst thing that you can do is put yourself down. Worst thing that you can do is put yourself down. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to repeat this to yourself three times a week for a positive self-talk. I can do this. I got this. And I want you to say that to yourself every single day. At least three times a week, but I would rather you do it every single day. I can do this. I got this. I can do this. I got this. I can do this. I got this. Just me doing it makes me super motivated, makes me super excited. And I'm sure I just made you excited as well. So, I want you to say that to yourself. Okay? That is it. Determine your why. Find meaning. Switch your positive mode. Appreciate your body. Quit. And quit with the negative self-talk. So, 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 so important. Those are awesome ways to motivate yourself for your workout when you're feeling unmotivated. Okay? But you cannot rely on motivation to get there to get you the results that you want. You have to rely on your actions and your consistency every single day. Awesome, that is it, that is all. That is the episode for today. If you're feeling unmotivated, I hope I give you the kick in the butt that you need. I hope I give you some strategies and ways that you can be a little bit more motivated today in order for you to get one step closer to your goals and doing the workouts today. If you got some um, value from this podcast and if you resonated to any of it, I want you to take a screenshot of this podcast and post it on your story and tag me so that I could see that you're being super awesome and amazing. All right, that is it. That is all. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.